you only played on three teams, man. What you? I'm just fine. <laughs> I'm just fine. Go. I'm sure you've, you've played on teams that are closer than others. So I wonder when you talk yeah. about team bonding, how much does it matter? Where does it help? Um, I personally think it matters. That's just part of my leadership. That's just part of how I um, how I've grown as far as um, how I grew up playing the game of basketball. You know, I know you guys hear it a lot, but you know, ever since I was a kid, all my teams. Not only did we, just, we play ball, but we also did things off the floor as well. If it was you know, going to the park, or if it was uh, going to amusement parks, if it was going to the mall, if it was going playing uh, football, you know, you know, if it was doing whatever, if it was going to each other's homes and playing video games, um, I think it, it always just made us closer. So not only did the influence of the way I play on the court have an effect on how I play today, also the influence of how I grew up with my friends too. Um, and, and having that brotherhood. Um, if, if you know anything about my childhood, the guys that I grew up playing ball are still around. They're still like my best friends, all my best friends. I just seen them in Columbus for my son's game. Um, so um, I just kind of, I don't know, it's just a part of who I am. I feel like it's, it's a huge part of my um, my leadership. If I'm a leader of a team, if a, if a franchise want me to be the leader of a team, I feel like it's very important. But like you said, some teams are closer than others. Um, but. If you can find uh, the, the great personalities and the right mix of personalities to fit, um, it's my job to try to get them to mesh as, as much as possible. For sure. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Guys, happy new year. Happy, happy new year. year. There you go. Cool these last few days of really Christmas. That's birthday yeah. and name, you know, the male athlete the last decade. Uh, I mean, it's been a, it's been a great couple of days. Uh, you know, not, not for just me, uh, but for my family, uh, you know, for my community. Uh, for, for anyone that has invested in me um, over the course of these years. Uh, very, very blessed. Uh, very humbling at the same time. And just, um, this is a cool time to be alive, I would say. Do you agree there are a lot of people that say, you know, with all of these things because you are a gift to the community, to the game of basketball? Uh, well, that's one thing I, I've um, taken a lot of responsibility with over the last um, few years, understanding how important I am to you know, not only my community, but other communities uh, that's in need of inspiration, uh, that's in need of, uh, of a helping, um, helping words, helping uh, uh, anything, helping hand. Um, you know, I've been able to uh, work in a lot of communities over the course of my career and uh, just try to spread uh, you know, positivity and, and to home, kids, to the youth. I think that's my, my number one. My ongoing journey is continue to inspire the youth. And, uh, very, very, uh, very meaningful. How was your party last night? It was great. I had a great time. Uh, the best thing about it is that uh, my teammates uh, said how, how much of a time they had. Uh, my family and my friends had a heck of a time. Got a lot of messages this morning saying how, uh, how much fun it was, how much love was in the air. Uh, so that's, that's, that's what makes it cool for me. When the people around me are having a good time. Bro, you can inspire so many athletes beyond basketball and get them thinking more about the business aspect of mm -hmm. the um, I, I mean, if I, if I can have a positive impact on, on anyone's life, um, if it's from a performance standpoint, if it's from a business standpoint, philanthropic standpoint, father's, fatherhood standpoint, son, whatever the case may be, um, husband, um, if people can take inspiration from my journey, then um, you know, I, I respect it and, and hopefully I'll continue to, to, to help. Um, you know, it's not, it's not just about me and it's not about, you know, my journey. It's, it's about also the ones that you can help along the way, you know, and how much of a difference, how, how much of a difference you can make um, in your own journey. So, um, I think that's pretty cool. Do you know you guys have talked about one of the reasons that this team is What you guys have built since, like, um, well, I mean, it was kind of, it was, I was kind of torn in between if I wanted to do a birthday party or not, uh, because of our, our, our hectic schedule. Um, but over the last you know, 72 hours before last night, I, I decided to do it. Um, and thank God I have a lot of resources that allow to put that together. Uh, you know, my wife is amazing with that, with that type of stuff. Um, but I also got an opportunity to kind of kill two birds with one stone. And I thought of not only making it my birthday party, but also having a, a, the feel of a New Year's party as well. Uh, for obvious reasons, because we won't be able to celebrate tonight how we would if we didn't have to play tomorrow. So I was able to kill two birds with one stone, get my teammates there, coaching staff, my family, my friends, 
um, people that's uh, been around for quite a while and, uh, and we had a heck of a time. So it was another opportunity um, for us to bond, which we did. Um, and if it brings us closer, then uh, fantastic. And that's, what it's, that's what it's all about for me, you know, just bringing, bringing us as close to the family as possible. When you think about the way this decade started, what would you say is the biggest way that you changed? Uh, when this decade started, I was 25, and, and I will hope that when you turn 35, you've made a lot of change. Um, I, I've learned a, a lot, not only about myself, um, about who I wanted to become along that way, and what I wanted to stand for in the last 10 years. Um, I've changed locations as far as my, my job description, um, you know, three times or four times, actually. Um, but along that way, I, I've just learned more and more about what I wanted to become and what I wanted my name and my family's name to stand for. Um, and I think the best teacher in life is experience. And I wouldn't be who I am today at 35 speaking like this if I didn't have, uh, you know, the experience of downs, ups, in-betweens, and so on and so on. So, um, it's been, a, it's been a, heck of a, a heck of a journey so far. LeBron, uh, 26 and 7 to this point, you're through that tough December stretch. What's your perspective on that first portion of 26 and 7? Yeah. Um, I, I, I think uh, I didn't even, obviously, I didn't know the record. I, just, I knew we were sitting at the top of the West and um, second in the, in the league behind Milwaukee, but I didn't quite know our, 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 our record. But I think we've played um, some, some really good basketball, and, and we knew. I personally knew that December was going to be tough on us with all the road games that we have to play, um, the quality of teams that we were playing. I knew it was going to be tough. Um, and we went through our little stretch of uh, the four-game losing streak. Um, but to play it how we did the last two games against two playoff teams in Portland and in Dallas, um, you know, I think we ended uh, 2019 as far as the 19-20 season um, in, a, in, a, in a good position, in a good position to continue to get better and uh, play better basketball in January than we did in December.